this Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russell, and welcome back to Naruto Kona High Legends version 5. Whee! Flop. Oh jeez, I hit the desk. Um, okay, let's get started. This is version 5, obviously. The difference between version 5 and the regular one that wasn't updated is that it has a watch mode. And the reason that I play both is because on the other one I play arcade mode, and on this one I play watch mode, which is a big part of the channel, you know, CC, I call it um, CCU versus CCU, which is computer controlled opponent versus computer controlled opponent. Tons of people have done it before. Uh, it's totally legit, I promise. It's awesome. So this is actually the Akatsuki Throwdown, and I hope I can edit that in later. We are going to watch... Oh, and it's also on the hardest difficulty setting. Let me show you that real quick before we get started. See hard on 8, so escape, return to menu, watch. And then we're going to go to simultaneous, and it's going to go way down here. To make it easier on ourselves, we're just going to start using the Akatsuki that were the original teams before they started dying off and getting replaced um, constantly in and out and in and out with each other, you know. Just the just the easy ones, you know, not not for at least for now, not like the uh, undead Nagato, undead Itachi, undead Daidara, and 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 like friggin' Obito and all his different forms. There's there's tons of them. You could go into such detail with this. So let me know if you'd like me uh, to do different renditions of the tournament where we use like their undead forms and some of the uh, alternate Toby forms and. Heck, even Orochimaru was in there for a couple of days before he got on the bad side of Itachi. Uh, White Zetsu is also there, but to keep it simple, for this one we're going to go starting with Pain. It's going to be Pain and Conan as team versus Kisame Itachi as team versus and Kabuto, or Kakuzu and Hidan as a team versus Deidara and Hiroko as a team. And also to let Sasori come in there... Uh, during the, if it goes to the third round, I'll take um, Hiroko out and put Sasori in, uh, in a best two out of three. If it goes to the third round for a, uh, for a tiebreaker, we'll take Hiroko out and put Sasori in. And for those of you who haven't seen the show, uh, Sas Sasori is actually hiding inside of a, basically a mannequin puppet, which is Hiroko. It's really weird and confusing. But without further ado, let's get started, shall we? So that's going to be Pain and Conan. On teams versus simultaneous teams. Do, 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 do. Kisame and Itachi. Ooh, okay, we gotta select the stage for this one. It's gotta be good. Ooh, that sounds pretty uh, epic. Where, where's the uh, Akatsuki stuff? Where, where? Okay, we're getting close. It's based on the. Um, it's based on the series, like when that stuff started popping up. It's in. Um, what do you call it? Chronological order from the series. Samurai Bru oh, 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 okay, we're getting closer. Kage meeting. I, I'm sorry I'm going backwards, but... Cloud Ravine. Okay, this is when Pain destroyed the um, Leaf Village, so... Destroyed Enter Uchiha. Hey, that's a good one. Itachi's in here, so why not the Uchiha hideout? Daidara Temple. Hey, <laughs> the temple where they found Daidara? Oh, I gotta do that one next. Remind me to do that one next. Orochimaru base, Orochimaru hideout, tail stage. Oh, okay. Can it just say something simple like a Katsuki hideout? I would love it if it said something. It's really simple, like uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna say a Katsuki hideout. <laughs> Great, and that's curses me for not knowing how to read these. Uh, let's go with. Uh, this one. No, no. Uchiha hideout. Maybe I should check these stages later. Okay. Coffee! I'm, I hope I'm uh, right on the face cam. I can't see it. Ooh. Very nice intros, everybody. Oh, I, oh! I have to turn it down. I have to plug the headphones in so that the uh, audio doesn't come over through the uh, through the mic. Whoopsie! <laughs> uh, Kisame is starting off really heavy. What is that? Is he cursed? What's he cursed with? How do you get cursed? He's cursed. He can't load chakra. 
What can I hit him with? Oh, very interesting. She's starting off with some very powerful Okay. There we go. Now I can hear it too. Okay. Looks like he's somebody still cursed. Man, he's getting his... He's getting his butt handed to him. He's being torn apart. Okay, so Kisame's making a comeback now. Pain's in the corner. Itachi's got the fire style on him. Alright, so Itachi and, uh, Itachi and Kisame have switched out. Kisame for Itachi, and there's the famous Shuriken Jutsu fire combination from the show. Fireball Jutsu hits Pain. Pain gets knocked back, and now Almighty Push. And, uh oh, Pain's, uh, Pain's opened up part of his shirt like, like on the show. Mangikyo shutting gum comes off, Crow Barrage. Okay, so my cursor is actually shown. I can show this is actually Kisame's health on the upper upper corner here in the green. Itachi's health is right here as you can see it going down as he's being attacked. Pain's health is gonna be let's see, since that's his picture, this is his health in the green. He's actually doing pretty darn good right there. Ooh, armor break! Itachi can awaken now if he holds down the charge button. Ooh, goes in for a strong attack. Mix, uh, misses Pain just by a mere split inch there. Oh, and instead of... It looks like he's gone. Is that his awakening? It's Susano coming in. Pain, almighty push. Puts the kibosh on uh, Itachi's clone there. Oh, wow. Firestyle Jutsu. Uh, Pain is out. Conan is in. You can barely see her through Susano. Susano providing excellent de defense for Itachi as he slowly makes his way up the field. Not really sure how long that awakening actually lasts, but um, uh, Itachi is definitely bringing it back for his entire team with this one simple awakening, and the awakening's done. Conan's in awakening mode herself. She can awaken too if she wants to. And that, oh, nice combos by Itachi. I imagine if she awakens, she'll be in that form where she has the wings turn into like an angel, and... Itachi's going Susano again! Konan didn't have enough time to awaken, so she tried to intercept with a Jutsu. It failed. She barely has... Oh, the Shikigami, uh, Shikigami dance. I think that means paper uh, paper god. Whoa! And Itachi puts it away uh, with the good... Uh, you could almost say he carried the team, but I think Kisame did his good part. Oh, hey, we've still got two more rounds. <laughs> awesome. Or possibly best two, uh, best, uh, possibly two more rounds, depending on, depending on how they do. They might win two in a row, as a matter of fact. So let's see. How about ooh, Saru Tobi versus Orochimaru? Uh, I like that. That's uh, when they were at the top of the tower, right? All right, we can do that. You'll have to forgive me. I got a bad sunburn on Saturday. I'm still recovering from it. <laughs> still peeling. I hate it. Ooh, that's a good stage for him. Round one. Begin. I know it's in Spanish. I should just I should just say lunch. <laughs> Round one, lunch. Because <laughs> that's what it looks like. We got Kisame and Pain. One going for a Jutsu, one going for Awakening. Oh. Oh wow, did they switch out Kisame for Itachi to avoid the Jutsu? Itachi's in there now. Mangekyo Sharingan leads into uh, multi shuriken Jutsu and Fire Style. Man, and there goes Itachi. He's on a roll. Part of Planetary Devastation comes out, Itachi avoids it and substitutes for Crows. Itachi's got a lot of barrage type jutsu. Crows, shuriken, fire style. Everything in a big line. Why are there two kisames? Did you clone yourself? What are you doing? What are you doing there, champ? Is that a jutsu? I hope it's a jutsu and not a glitch. Well, there's two kisames now. Oh, snap. There were three there for a second. One of them's just standing there. <laughs> uh, is that a jutsu or a bug? Did I find a bug? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, as long as the other Kisame is actually fighting and, and losing health the same way. He is still losing health, isn't he? Let me take a look real quick. And Kisame gets some strong shark bomb jutsus off. Konan's trying to defend herself. Yeah, uh, Kisame is still losing health. It's it's legit. It's legit. So there, there's just a Kisame that got glitched in there from um, one of the 
water clone jutsu he uh, jutsus he used, and uh, he's still losing health. And it doesn't seem like um, doesn't seem like Conan is forced to attack it. It's actually been dispelled now. Uh, looks like Kisame is still in. Itachi is still in. Conan's losing a lot of HP though. Kisame's only out. Almost. Kisame's almost out. Itachi's still got plenty of health. It looks like they're using a good, uh, good tag technique. Whoa, and out of nowhere, Itachi has a sword now. Oh, and apparently there's a spirit bomb paper ball. Did not know that. Did not know that. She just... Conan just used, apparently, spirit bomb paper ball. Mangikyo uh, Sharingan leads into Shuriken Jutsu Fire Styles, and Itachi's out of nowhere sword. Explosions! And hey, it's the Kisame brothers! What the heck is up with your arms? Oh, that's what it looks like when both of them pull the, um, Samihara. Huh. Well, that was awesome! So, Itachi Kisame won best two out of three, two in a row. Very nice, very nice. Let us move on! I like this, I like this. We're off to a great start. We got Kakazu and Hidan versus... Daydara and Sorcery, or well, Hiroko in that form. Sorry for those of you who haven't seen the sh uh, series, this is uh, very confusing. But for you anime fans out there and fans of Naruto, this is something that could be possibly enjoyable. And even for people who haven't uh, been fans already, just take a look into it. It's a very interesting series. And um, there are other series out there that aren't uh, so mainstream. But believe it or not, I was around when it first uh, started showing up and it wasn't mainstream, at least not over here. When it first uh, debuted, a lot of people didn't actually even like it. But I always gave it a shot. Where's the Daydara Temple? Bingo! You gotta remember, everything's indie until it becomes mainstream. Or everything's indie until it gets popular. Just like Minecraft. Minecraft was indie. It started out really unpopular. Everybody hating it. Now look at it. Everybody, everybody does Minecraft. Minecraft is everywhere. You can't avoid Minecraft. It's all over the place. All right. Ooh, very nice music. Round 01. Lunch. <laughs> Daydara starts off strong with some, um, well, I don't know. Uh, I, I'd call that starting off weak. Daydara's not really a physical fighter. He started off with some physical attacks, finally getting use of his bomb type jutsus, but they switched out for Hitoko. Kidon's holding it down pretty well. He's got the scythe going. I'm not sure how his, um, Blood technique would work against Sasori, who actually has no blood. Or does he? There is that one part of him that has blood in it. That little that little tank he keeps in his in his puppet chest. That's got like his heart in it, I believe it was. Oh man! Here goes picking people up and just stomping them around. Here it goes, Sasori, not sure where to do the Is he out already? Where was his health bar? Jesus Christ, Hidon, you're a beast. Oh, and Hidon goes into his cursed form. Awakening. That's eh, probably going to be pretty effective against Daydara. Oh, cute. Daydara uses some spiders and some uh, dragon bombs. Did that, that look like die on his chest there for a second? Whoa. What the? And Hidon proceeds to blow himself up in zero proximity. Oh, Daydara should like that. Oh, What the? Did he not just take both of them? No knee? No, what? I don't understand. I, I forgot to wear my headband. Too late now, we're moving on. Okay, since Hedon managed to take both of them, and I have a bad feeling that they're not going to make it to the third round, let's switch around the teams so we go... Uh, actually, it started out with Kakuzo's. Uh, they switched to heat on, didn't they? I think they did, so it doesn't matter if I switch them around. Well, let's keep it Kakuzu and heat on, and since I have a bad suspicion that they're not going to make it to the third round, uh, let's switch out uh, Hiroko for Sasori and see if they can do a little bit better. I didn't realize that they could... Uh, <laughs> His eyes are too far apart. He's he's got a derp look on his face, doesn't he? I mean, Sasori is just a he's a character that you picture being terrifying, oh, yeah, you know. Yeah, and yeah, on his his profile yeah. picture is just derp. <laughs> I hate it. I hate his profile picture. Round one, lunch. All right. Ah, see, see, just like last time, they had Kakuzu and they switched to Heat on. 
Hedon's just a freaking beast. <laughs> I'm sure Sus uh, I'm sure Skylar will like that. Hedon is a freaking nightmare. Okay, he's got some strong side jutsu in there, but Sasori is actually doing a lot better than um, doing a lot better than Hiroko. He's able to actually tie it up here in the rounds with some poison jutsu and strong physical attacks. Hedon's got to run for his money, and why, in the love of God, did I pick a random stage? This is not a good stage for me. I'm very sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Sasori is almost out, using Iron Sand Jutsus. Hedon's almost done. Sasori could do this. He could actually even it out. And he does. Hedon's out, Kakuzu's in. Sasori's still got one third of a bar left. He needs to switch out for Daydar very soon, but it seems he's being a ball hog right now. Fire style. Um, can't remember the name of it. It's like a triple flame jutsu. Oh! Daydar is subbed in. Whoa! And Hedon says no to those bombs, blows them back. Very, very nice techniques. I like how they mesh up. Daydar is dealing a lot of damage right now. These two both being ranged fighters, this could be very interesting. Well, it already is very interesting. Both using some very powerful jutsu right now. Neither one is awakened yet, but Kakuzu seems to be going for it. And here it is! Lightning style. Daydar looked like he was about to awaken, but he didn't get the chance. Kakuzu didn't let him have it. Daydar is going for one of his ultimate jutsu, and there it is! The uh, microscopic bombs. And the wind style puts Daydar away. Sasori's in. Watch out for the fire, and there it is! He avoids the first triple shot, but gets hit by the third triple shot. A very good, very good attempt by the two. Very good attempt. So, as I suspected, they didn't make it to the third round, so it's actually a good thing that I uh, switched out Hiroko for Sasori there. So now, we've got ourselves a very excellent match of Kisame and Itachi versus Kakuzu and Hidan. Very interesting. Little mini tournament here. Not really the whole shebang. People... You guys let me know if you want me to go into the whole, I, I think I said that already, their undead forms and all the different, um, all the different Tobies and Obitos and, and uh, like he just didn't know who he was. He was, he was Toby and then he was Obito and then he was, um, and then he was so many names, so many names. Uh, oh God. Nope, nope, now, nope, now it's bugging me. Now it's bugging me, now I gotta figure it out. Obito, yeah, he was Toby, then he was Obito, then he was... Oh god. Oh oh no, he was Toby, then he was Madara, then he was Obito. And then and just his then enough of that, enough of that. Oh god. And then in reverse he was Obito and then Toby and then and then Madara. Oh god. It's a nightmare. Itachi and Kisame versus that that I did that backwards. God bless America, I did that backwards. Kakazu and Hidan. Sorry I'm in a hurry. I I um overdid it a little bit with my bedroom cleaning it's actually spotless uh, but unfortunately it's already nearly five o'clock probably not gonna get this out by six but I already said the Wednesday intro so it's gotta come out sometime tonight <laughs> no no choice in the matter um, let's do uh, ooh, Uchiha Uchiha hideout where is Uchiha hideout Uchiha where are you Cloud Ravine uh, Konoha destroyed uh -huh, destroyed. Uchi ah ha ha! Ah ha! I found it. My videos are so informal, so unprofessional. People hate them. I have fun though. We have fun here. You guys have fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's hope these three go to the. Or these four go to the third round. I almost said these three go to the fourth round. Four round. Lunch. Tachi starts off strong with a very powerful dodge versus that fireball. Kakuzu's bringing it back though with the slam down. Mangikyo shutting on and just barely misses. Some Shuriken Jutsu into fire style. Kakuzu pushes back. Leaves Itachi on the ground trying to get an opening for charging some chakra, I imagine. No, it looks like uh, no chakra charging is happening. Both of these two are going very physical right now. They don't want any distance. They're not charging any chakra, they just want to. They, they want a good clean fight! Earth style. Just barely misses Itachi in the air. Let's see. It looks like they're about evenly matched now. Itachi and Kisame switch up for Kisame. Kisame comes in pretty weak. But it looks like uh, 
Oh, Itachi didn't leave him any jutsu. He didn't leave him any chakra. Kasami comes in with some physical moves, getting some good knockback. He has good distance, but still, no charging of the chakra. They just want a good, clean, physical fight here. A lot of grudge match between these four fighters right now. Looks like Itachi and Kisame are both about medium health as Hidon just totally owns the field again. Hidon, the beast from the east. <laughs> the, uh, the devil of devastation, Hidon. Oh, and I, I, I believe those were kunai, I'm not sure. It's funny, he has he, he has his curse jutsu, but other than that, he doesn't really use any jutsu. Just that, uh, just that scythe of his, and he is just owning, well, he, he was owning the field right now earlier. Itachi's pushing back. Itachi's got him in a corner. He's letting him have it with explosions. Mangiki or Sharingan. Shuriken jutsu and fire styles. Itachi subbing in, subbing out. Switching around. Hidan hitting heavy with that scythe. He's got Itachi in an air combo now. Excellent. Um, uh, oh, wow. Spinning porcupine Sonic Jutsu, apparently. He's got him in, um, he's got some great juggling. hidon has got very great juggling. Itachi's almost out. Where's Kisame's health? Was Kisame taken out? Hidon's awakening. Itachi's awakening. It's going down. Oh, and Hidon stops him just before he can get it. And what the? I didn't know they could do that. That was so cool! Hidon did a rush and then Kakuzu subbed in and grabbed Itachi's heart and he, he, no, what's it called? Mortal Kombat, he finished him. <laughs> Holy crap, that was awesome. Again! <laughs> You've still got, you, you ain't done yet. You've got one more. <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. He finished him. Oh, dude. <clears throat> Madara, return. Ah, sure, why the heck not? As long as it's a dark gritty stage a dark gritty stage not you know something bright and shiny like that in the background you know hey it's the hidden leaf training no, area no no nay nay nee. ah yeah see there's what we're looking for a nice dark <laughs> crater lunch monkey gyo shining down comes in hits heat on heat on gets caught in an air uh in an air juggle got some crows going on fire style and of course his uh Hey, Earth Style actually hit that time. It's actually very effective. <laughs> Hidon going for the uppercut. <laughs> Monkey Gear Shutting Down interrupted uh, by a basic punch, no less. Wish that worked in the series. Uh, I bet a lot of Shinobi wish that worked in the series. What? Monkey Gear Shutting Down? Screw you, punch. Ah, takes effect that time. Itachi's got him in the corner now. Looks like Hidon, or, uh. Sorry, looks like uh, Kakuzu and Itachi both at about half health. Armor break on Hidon. Hidon can awaken now. Itachi's hitting him hard with some fire style jutsu. And uh, Kakuzu fires back with his own fire style jutsu. And Itachi fires off a explosion clone. Earth style from Hidon. Fire style from Itachi. Very different from the last match. In this match, there's much more jutsu and a lot less physical fighting. Going with some serious jutsu in this one. Very epic music. Oh no, Hidon's, er, uh, Itachi's out, Kisame is in. Itachi's lost all of his health, Hidon's barely got a sliver, and looks like Kisame's gonna put him down right about there. He did it already. It comes down to Hidon versus Kakuzu. Who will take the final round? Oh no, how can Hidon possibly beat the, oh, never mind, the Kisame brothers have been disbanded. <laughs> Oh man, and Kisame hitting hard. Tries the uh, water prison jutsu, just barely misses, and Hidon's holding the bomb. <laughs> Missed that one by a uh, couple of seconds, it's hard to keep up. <gasps> Hidon, uh, Kisame's almost out! Water prison jutsu! He's doing some good damage with it. Oh man, two or three more hits and he's done. Uh, Hidon's awakened now, he can awaken. Ooh, and this is it! This is it! No! Hang in there, Kisame! No! Oh man! Wow, there it is. The strongest team in the uh, Akatsuki. Apparently, Hidan and Kakuzu. <laughs> well, I'm sure Skylar will enjoy that. You you saw it here first. Um, do you think? Do do you guys think? Just for shits and giggles, 
Do you think Hidon and Kakuzu would actually have a disadvantage for some reason against Conan and Pain or Daydara and Sorcery just for the fun of it? Ah, uh, we're already at 25 minutes. You guys let me know if you want me to do like a like a hold your crown style um, rematch where Kakuzu and Hidon are the champs and they gotta they gotta defeat everybody else. It's actually interesting. I wonder about a team style. Like this is, excuse me. This is just the Ikat. This this is just the Ikatsuki. I wonder if I could do teams for everyone. Let's see. Naruto. Mm-hmm. Sasuke. Uh huh. Team up there. A little team up there. Who else? Um, uh, it'd be kind of uneven, but uh, how about Sakura with? You know, since there were four of them, her sensei, you know, her teacher. Okay, okay. Let's see. Maybe I should set up some teams for later. Guy sensei versus, like, for a big tournament. Guy sensei and maybe Lee or Neji. Okay, there's his team. Okay. How about uh, Ten Ten and Neji and Lee and Guy? Okay. Hinata and... Uh, Oh man, Hinata's got to go with a with a Naruto, like an older Naruto. Hinata, Naruto, and Shino and Kiba. Uh, Hinata obviously um, paired with Naruto since uh, Kurenai is out of the out of the equation. She is, isn't she? I don't think she's in this game. Uh, let's see. No, she's not. She's not among the teachers. Oh, interesting. We even have. Fushina and Minato, can she fight? I wonder. Uh, she was a shinobi. Oh man. Hashirama and his brother Tobi Rama. Hiruzen and maybe Danzo, because you know the light and the dark of the hidden leaf. Oh man, yeah, I can do a full on teams tournament. As long as everyone has a partner. Uh, maybe I should go through this, make sure everyone has a partner. Shisui and maybe, is there a younger Itachi? Uh, looking, 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 I don't see, I don't see, I don't see, I don't see. Well, I could, suppose I could do this Itachi. I mean, Shisui's got to have a partner somewhere, right? Oh, man. Undead Itachi, Undead Daydara, Obito, ooh, well, well. Obito with uh, young Kakashi. Oh man, yeah, I think everybody could have a partner in this. this. That could be rather interesting. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I think I there is one. There's there's a couple of missing there, like Choji and Ino. But who do I put Shikamaru with? Hmm. Who put with do I Shika? Aha! Asuma, of course. Duh. And they could, yeah, very interesting. I think everybody's got a, I think everybody's got a partner. Wait, 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 Yamato. I'm, I'm sorry about this. I'm challenging myself right now to see if I can find a partner for every single character. Not, not all here, obviously. Just, just most of them. Yamato and, uh, or maybe if everyone doesn't have a partner, I can just make teams on my own and do a big style tournament. Let's see, Chio. Who for Chio? Maybe an older version of Sakura? Chiyo and Sakura here? Yeah, yeah, that, that could work, that could work. <laughs> Why did my voice go Mickey right then? Yeah, yeah, that could work. That could be great, folks. Ho ho! <laughs> all right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Uh, let me know if you want to do the full-on teams tournament. Uh, I'll probably try to set that up anyway, see if I can find a partner for everybody. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to hit this. Make sure to subscribe for updates on future content. Leave any helpful comments you might have in the comment section below. Likes are always appreciated. And until next time, take it easy, my friends. Mm -hmm.